Well, I think the most uh, exciting thing about it, I think a lot of artists and writers too, they really like the idea of creating this unique world and they like to focus on, ooh, you know, what do the people dress like and what kind of stores are there and what kind of challenges would these people face. And so being able to kind of flesh that out is very exciting. And I mean, it's something we were even thinking about from the from the beginning of the game, we were always talking in terms of like, ooh, wouldn't it be neat if we could do like these different countries or talk a little bit about why the, the world is the way it is. And um, so Adventure Mode, if we get funded, you know, if we can uh, explore that a lot and draw a lot of pictures of these, these cultures and these people that inhabit Guns Vicarious. So um, that's something I'm really looking forward to. It's, it's kind of like the the cross between fiction writing, you know, the designers are starting to say, oh, this is an element of the world, and then we get to run with it as artists and start to design characters based on these, um, these story snippets that we've been developing over the last few months. So that's exciting. Well, this time uh, we have to create uh, different routes. Now, um, as you can see in the board map, we have to make a lot of them. Uh, Estimating about like a hundred of those routes, different routes, each one of them will be uh, procedurally different. Uh, that will include different assets, different uh, environment structures, uh, terrains, and lots of lots of skies. So yeah, it's going to be difficult for us, but it's, it's going to be a great challenge. And as Eugene mentioned before, you can see all the routes that we have. So we're going to need to create a map for each one of those. So if I count just right here around Cathedral, one of the capitals, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, has seven routes going out of Cathedral. That takes seven months' work of time just between Eugene and myself. So it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. Uh, even though uh, the routes around Cathedral are all going to be the same biome, um, we're going to have to put in the time to make sure each level is laid out properly, it's set dressed, just, and set dressing means it looks pretty. We've got bushes, we've got some birds and all that good stuff. Um, so yeah, the only way to do it is through some kind of smart automation. Uh, maybe if we put in a piece of terrain and we have like a special brush, it'll just start putting bushes down. Or the AI director is smart and can swap out some obstacles. There are a lot of possibilities, and uh, it'll just take the time and effort for R&D from programming. And that's, that's pretty much where we need the most help on at this point in time. But after that, man, we can get all kinds of stuff in, make it look really cool. All the biomes that we want shouldn't be too hard. I think the best thing about Adventure Mode is the idea that we can start to work with the programmers to develop tool sets that, um, that work within the game engine for stuff like level building. Um, I work a lot with the UI and um, you know, taking a little bit of time to uh, build a pipeline and build tools that kind of speed up the pipeline is, uh, is really helpful. It's one of those a stitch in time saves nine kind of things to use an old adage. But um, you know, if we get to take the time to build the tools now, then afterward, this level building, you know, and light mapping and stuff like that goes ten times as fast. So, I mean, I don't think the actual character design can really be sped up only by adding more talented people, you know, and, and hiring more artists. But certain parts, especially the more technical elements of um, game art, then things will go so much more smoothly in Adventure Mode's development. The most helpful thing that I want right now for Adventure Map to help me is a clone of myself. <laughs> I mean, we all need a clone of each other so we can make lots of stuff happening all at once.